Rockingham Forest is a huge part of the natural and cultural heritage of Northamptonshire. Today, while it covers more than 200 square miles and acts as a refuge for some of England's rarest animals, changes in the way the forest is managed has led to the loss of important open areas. That's why Back From The Brink's Roots of Rockingham project has been restoring and managing the network of these woodlands. We've been creating more available habitat for our vulnerable species and improving the way the remaining forest sites are managed. But before the project team led by Butterfly Conservation could tackle the huge amount of work necessary for restoring Rockingham Forest, it needed support. Delivering the Roots of Rockingham project has been a truly collaborative effort involving conservation partners, landowners, contractors and a crew of passionate local volunteers who have carried out a huge amount of work on the ground. This approach has allowed us to deliver so much more than if every partner had acted alone. Before we could start any habitat management or plan any species recovery work, we needed to know for certain what our baseline was, so which species are here and what state their populations are in. Our volunteers have been simply invaluable in helping us complete this painstaking work monitoring our priority species, such as adders, barbastel bats, marsh tits and also the vital food plants for checkered skipper butterflies and concolorous moths. We want people to feel empowered to monitor, protect and enjoy their local wildlife and wild areas. Rockingham Forest is crisscrossed by rides. These are wide pathways created by generations of people who used the forest in the past. As lives and priorities changed, the rides became abandoned and overgrown so the incredible diversity of plants and animals that depend on these open light areas has been at risk of disappearing. Every year our team of staff and volunteers has cleared invasive vegetation along the rides to create warm patches of sunlight essential for adders, space for the food plants of butterflies and moths to grow and nighttime hunting grounds for bats. All of this hands-on work has happened in the winter months when the wildlife is less active it's crucial to avoid disturbing key habitat when species are breeding and when they have developing young. It can be tough work, but it's worth every moment when we see the species we have been working so hard to protect thriving again. Once we were sure we created enough suitable habitat, we knew the time was right for us to bring the checkered skipper butterflies from Belgium and release them back here into the Rockingham Forest. This was a massive task because by then the skipper had been extinct in England for over 40 years. With the help of our fantastic volunteers, the adult butterflies were released over two summers. But this was just the first stage. We needed to work out which areas of the forest the butterflies were using and try to observe where the females were laying their eggs. So it was important to continue with our surveying and monitoring. Then in spring 2019, we found what we'd been looking for. Newly emerged checkered skipper butterflies were seen on the wing along the rise of Rockingham Forest. The adults we released in 2018 had bred successfully and the first English generation of checkered skippers in 40 years was doing well. We want everyone to be able to discover and enjoy Rockingham Forest and its wildlife. That's why Back From The Brink has worked with schools, local artists, photographers and filmmakers to celebrate the forest and bring attention to its importance.